when it comes to general auto body um, work, whether it be detailing, sanding, or anything like that, one of the few general rules that you follow is make sure everything is out of your pockets and nothing sharp is near the car, like your belt buckle or anything else. Here's the perfect example why. I forgot my knife was in my pocket and while I was wet sanding, finishing the car, this is the last side and I just finished it down here on 2000 grit. I went to turn around and the, the edge, not the blade, but the, uh, the hook caught it right there. I don't know how lucky I'm gonna get with that scratch. I don't know if I'm gonna have to take it down to the clear coat and re-clear coat that whole spot I don't know what I'm gonna have to do with that yet I haven't really looked at it I'm just too upset about it I mean like things like this I can deal with I missed this here because I was painting with this open I thought I did close it at one point to get good coverage right there but I didn't big deal you know that's easy to fix also this right here <laughs> If I'm lucky, only went down to the paint and I only have to reshoot this area right here to re-clear it after I go ahead and compound the rest of the car. Because I do have to paint. I'm going to re-clear. I wet sanded after I did this, but I don't like how uneven the new clear came in. So I'm going to go ahead and re-clear this whole wing on the top because my mistake was finished, fixed right here. I got to redo the front bumper because that thing peeled. This just needs to be done on 2000. But anyway, we're off the topic right now. Yeah. So I've checked everything else. I don't even know where the knife is. I was so pissed off. I just threw it in here somewhere. It's probably gone and I really don't care at this point. But yeah, that was the one rule I didn't even pay attention to. So. When you go ahead and do your body work, when it comes to sanding, sanding, not sanding, auto detail, even detailing. I mean, some people have metal belt buckles like I do. Your mind's more hidden by the leather than it is by anything else. But that was just hanging out the side of my pocket. But anyway, that's my little uh, thing for right now. Hopefully. I'll get this down to 2000, the rear bumper to 2000, and these two pieces to 2000, and that's pretty much going to be it until I get the front bumper resprayed and this wing recleared. <clears throat> and that's it. So, hopefully, in a few minutes here, I'm going to pull the Camaro back in. We're going to go ahead and clear, not clear coat it, but start compounding it after the uh, panels cool down for a while because it's been sitting in the sun. And then we'll have to back it back out again once the front bumper um yeah i'm talking a lot but i know uh anyway when we get the front bumper back out here we start painting i'll start updating more of them all right so i got my little mishap sanded down there's a little little bit better better feathering of this um but we got the car back in the bay because I'm going to assemble it tomorrow and then I'm going to re-clear coat the whole thing and leave it alone. I'm chasing my tail. We did compound and got some stuff looking good, but the problem is, is some of it has these god-awful scratches. We don't even know where they came from. I got trash in my sandpaper or something. I don't know. So the whole car has been sanded and since because the hatch needs to be re-cleared and re-cleared anyway and I got to do this repair over here redo this I'm just going to go ahead and assemble the car do a coat of clear on it and leave it alone um, I'm getting tired and it's hot and the front bumper still hasn't cured yet from the primer again like the same situation we had with the hood over there so that's it for today. It's been 
a nightmare of a day, but it's getting hotter every day. It's just the humidity. I think Arizona or somewhere over there would be better. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you all later.